So uh, we are on our way over to uh, Bowler's ER. It's a pro shop in River End Lanes in Des Plaines. They are having a huge ball sale right now on used balls. Um, 100 bucks, drilling included, slugs included, inserts included. Pretty good deal. So I'm gonna see if we can fill in the arsenal a little bit. Uh, looking at hopefully getting at least an IQ2 or solid. Drop that into the slot there. We'll see what else they have. They have like 200 balls available when they announced it. If I'm lucky, there'll be something else there that I can also slot in. So we'll see how it goes. I'm gonna basically go over, walk in, see what they got, see what they come, come out of it with. We'll see what happens in a, in a bit. One hour later. So I didn't actually film anything at the pro shop that day, but it was super productive and only took about an hour or so to make my choices and get everything set up. I indeed picked up the I2, IQ Tour Solid, which is intended to slot into the lower part of my bag and a gap between my Phase 2 and my IQ Emerald. The other ball that I will show a little bit of in this video is the original Phase. They had one of the AX16 cover sock phases. The international and later domestic runs of that ball use R2S, which is the same cover as my IQ Emerald. And strangely enough, the incoming phase four. I was interested in this ball thanks to a video from ball reviewer extraordinaire Luke Rosdahl. A link will be in the description below, where he compares the phase to the 900 Global Zen, which was a ball I was heavily considering to be a very close companion piece to my phase two. Luke demonstrates that the phase is a very similar shape to the Zen and was largely poorly received at the time because no one really expected a pearl ball to have a kind of rounded shape. At the time, everyone thought pearl balls should just boink. So when I saw the Pro Shop had an original phase and no Zens available used, of course, I went ahead and jumped at the chance to pick it up. Uh, also, thanks to its gloriously swirly coloring, the phase has affectionately become nicknamed the Party Parrot. And as my wife Christina just as pointed out from the other room, she did contribute that nickname. She gets full credit for it being called the Party Parrot. All right, folks, this is my first time with the, the phase. This has been affectionately named the Party Parrot. Um, this is the second bomb I throw with it. Let's we'll see how, how it looks like. What's the sky balls? Light courtesy, but not just for beginners. Now we know. And knowing is half the battle. So I just threw four strikes in a row with this ball. I haven't missed with it yet. So I'm gonna put it down for, for a little bit and try the other new ball, just the IQ. Uh, I'm gonna stand in the same spot this time with the with the phase and the phase two, and we'll see what happens. a little high, but it definitely got come off my hand finally. It's definitely a lot earlier than what I'm used to, so that's actually what I want out of it. So I'm going to move um, two left. My feet want the arm. See where it goes. So I didn't spend a ton of time practicing with them, I mostly just wanted to get a feel for the fit and see how they came off my hand. But even with a little bit of experience with them, I already think they're going to be fantastic fit for my tournament bag. I'm definitely going to be trying out the phase at League as well. Part of why I wanted that Zen-like shape was that my phase 2 tends to be a little bit too early during the later stages of League. I want to give a really huge shout out to William Clark, the operator of Bowler's ER Pro Shop. He was a dream to work with both for selection and for the drilling. The balls were immediately comfortable in my hand. And when I mentioned I was still looking for a one ball, but that I didn't would have loved an insight, which he didn't have, he told me he actually could get, could get me one. So once that ball is ready shortly after the first of the year, I'm going to have a full six bag tournament arsenal ready to go with me to events on the weekend. But wait, there's more. The aforementioned Luke Roswell channel and his Discord, which I highly recommend, 
held a fundraiser for a local to them dog whisking organization. As part of that fundraiser, they gave a, did a raffle of some things, including a couple of bowling balls. And I won a freaking promotion. So I don't yet know where that's going to fit in my current bag. I still need to get familiar with everything I just picked up. But from some initial research, it looks like the promotion will basically slot in between the phases and IQ2 are solid, acting like a sort of an IQ but more ball. Or, or sometimes something very urethane-like. I'm going to go ahead and chat more with members of the Rostal Storm Nation Discord and figure out what I'm going to do with it and what I should expect out of it. But it's almost certainly going to be a very nice addition. If you have thoughts about where this ball fits, I definitely want to hear about it, so be sure to leave a comment below. So thank you to Luke, Angel, James, and that whole crew for putting that fundraiser together. It went to a great cause. They raised over $5,000 to support uh, Dog Rescue. It's a really great, great cause. I'll talk about it more next year and point people in that direction. I also want to give another big thank you to William Clark of the Bullers ER Pro Shop in Des Plaines, Illinois. I'm definitely going to be going back there to get the promotion drilled, and I might have him redo the thumbs on my other stuff again, now that I found a really good shop. And finally, thank you to everybody who watches this video. I appreciate you taking the time to share all of my experiences. I'm excited to throw all of these balls in competition. I can promise some really fun videos where that happens coming up in the new year. If you're not already subscribed, please hit the button to do that. And if you like this video in particular, click that thumbs up, which lets me know. I'll see you next week when we return to League. Good luck and good bowling.